Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about macros in C++. So macros are used to replace certain keywords with either numbers or some line of code inside your code. And it helps with readability or um, if you just want to have something localized up on top. And also you could use it for certain situations where you have conditional compilation where you only want certain parts of your code to execute if something is defined. So that could be good if you're connected to hardware, maybe you're testing something and you want something to run when you're connected and then something to not run when you're not connected. So let's take a look at example. We're going to have include IO stream and we're going to have our main function. So a couple of things to note about define is uh, you will typically have or if with macros, you need to use the define keyword. And usually you're going to see a capitalize for your define keyword. So here we're going to define a constant called golden ratio. And we have 1.618 or one yeah, 1.618. So I could do something like std c out golden ratio. And this will print out my number. You see it prints out the golden ratio. And if I hover over it, it says that expands to 1.618. So it pretty much just replaces this text with this number. And I can also define functions, uh, although some people may be against this, but uh, you can see how it can be used just for demonstration purposes. You could replace that line of code was something like std c out x. So I could actually replace this whole thing and just say c out num and then pass in golden ratio. So if I run this, it should print out golden ratio. And then for a conditional compilation, you could have something like this define, let's say, print result. So if print result is defined up on top, then only then we want the C out function to execute. So we could say if def, and we will type in our keyword result. So if print result is defined, execute the function within this if end if block. So because we defined it here, we should expect this to print. And thus we see a print. But if we comment it out and then run it, we will see that it no longer prints because it's not defined. Okay, So that's really good if you want to run certain code um, and have it turn on and off. Okay, So that summarizes macros in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.